Word of the day. Patronize. The ways to maximize learning English from this video are as follows. 1. Relax. 2. Listen. 3. Participate in speaking sessions in turns. 4. Repeat watching the video frequently until you fully grasp its content. Example 1. Hey, did you hear that exchange between Sarah and Tom earlier? Yeah, I did. It was uncomfortable to witness. Tom was so patronizing towards Sarah when she was presenting her ideas. Exactly. He was talking down to her as if she didn't know what she was talking about. It was completely uncalled for. Sarah is competent and deserves respect. Agreed. I think we should report it to HR. This kind of behavior shouldn't be tolerated in our workplace. I think you're right. If we don't address it, it could create a toxic environment and affect morale. I'll draft an email to HR outlining what happened and how it made us feel. It's important to ensure that everyone feels valued and respected here. Definitely. Let's make sure this doesn't happen again. Example 2. Hey, son, can we chat for a moment? Sure. What's up? Well, I wanted to talk about something important. You know how sometimes when adults talk to kids, they might sound like they're talking down to them? Yeah, I think so. That's called being patronizing. It's when someone speaks to another person in a way that makes them feel like they're not being taken seriously or respected. Oh, okay. But how should they talk instead? Great question. Instead of talking down to someone, it's better to speak to them with kindness and respect, using words that they understand. It's important to listen to what the other person has to say and treat them like their thoughts and feelings matter. Got it, Dad. So we should always try to talk to others how we want to be talked to. Exactly. Treating others with respect and kindness is always the best way to communicate. Patronize has a couple of different meanings, depending on the context. 1. To support or sponsor. In a positive sense, patronize means to support or sponsor something, such as a cause, organization, or business. For example, she decided to patronize the local bookstore by buying all her books there. 2. To condescend or treat as inferior. In a negative sense, patronize means to talk or behave towards someone in a way that seems condescending or superior, often implying that the person being addressed is less knowledgeable or capable. For instance, he spoke to her in a patronizing tone as if she couldn't understand complex concepts. Individuals who are prone to patronizing others often exhibit certain traits or behaviors. Here are some characteristics commonly associated with individuals who tend to patronize others. Arrogance. People who believe they are superior to others may patronize them to assert their perceived superiority. Insecurity. In some cases, individuals who feel insecure about themselves may attempt to boost their own self-esteem by belittling others. Lack of empathy. Those who struggle to empathize with others may fail to recognize the impact of their patronizing behavior on the feelings and self-esteem of the person being patronized. Need for control. Some individuals patronize others as a way to assert control or dominance in a situation. Low emotional intelligence. People with low emotional intelligence may struggle to understand the nuances of social interactions and inadvertently come across as patronizing. Cultural or social norms. In certain cultures or social groups, patronizing behavior may be more accepted or even encouraged as a means of demonstrating authority or hierarchy. It's important to note that anyone can exhibit patronizing behavior from time to time but individuals who frequently display these characteristics may be more prone to patronizing others. Now you try. 
Repeat the following conversations. Example 1 Hey, did you hear that exchange between Sarah and Tom earlier? Hey, did you hear that exchange between Sarah and Tom earlier? Yeah, I did. It was uncomfortable to witness. Yeah, I did. It was uncomfortable to witness. Tom was so patronizing towards Sarah when she was presenting her ideas. Tom was so patronizing towards Sarah when she was presenting her ideas. Exactly. He was talking down to her as if she didn't know what she was talking about. Exactly. He was talking down to her as if she didn't know what she was talking about. It was completely uncalled for. It was completely uncalled for. Sarah is competent and deserves respect. Sarah is competent and deserves respect. Agreed. I think we should report it to HR. Agreed. I think we should report it to HR. This kind of behavior shouldn't be tolerated in our workplace. This kind of behavior shouldn't be tolerated in our workplace. I think you're right. I think you're right. If we don't address it, it could create a toxic environment and affect morale. If we don't address it, it could create a toxic environment and affect morale. I'll draft an email to HR outlining what happened and how it made us feel. I'll draft an email to HR outlining what happened and how it made us feel. It's important to ensure that everyone feels valued and respected here. It's important to ensure that everyone feels valued and respected here. Definitely. Let's make sure this doesn't happen again. Definitely. Let's make sure this doesn't happen again. Example 2 Hey son, can we chat for a moment? Hey son, can we chat for a moment? Sure, what's up? Sure, what's up? Well, I wanted to talk about... 
something important. Well, I wanted to talk about something important. You know how sometimes when adults talk to kids, You know how sometimes when adults talk to kids, they might sound like they're talking down to them? They might sound like they're talking down to them? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. That's called being patronizing. That's called being patronizing. It's when someone speaks to another person in a way that makes them feel like they're not being taken seriously or respected. It's when someone speaks to another person in a way that makes them feel like they're not being taken seriously or respected. Oh, okay. But how should they talk instead? Oh, okay. But how should they talk instead? Great question. Great question. Instead of talking down to someone, instead of talking down to someone, it's better to speak to them with kindness and respect. It's better to speak to them with kindness and respect. Using words that they understand. Using words that they understand. It's important to listen to what the other person has to say. It's important to listen to what the other person has to say. And treat them like their thoughts and feelings matter. and treat them like their thoughts and feelings matter. Got it, Dad. So we should always try to talk to others how we want to be talked to.
so we should always try to talk to others how we want to be talked to. Exactly. Treating others with respect and kindness is always the best way to communicate. Exactly. Treating others with respect and kindness is always the best way to communicate. How did you do? Give yourself a pat on the back and try again next time. Well done!